Well, good morning and good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Tom Judd from IFMBE Clinical Engineering Division. And uh, we welcome you to this fifth of the five uh, town halls that we scheduled. And uh, today, uh, remind you that the World Health Assembly is happening this week uh, in Geneva. Uh, well, by way of Geneva, it's all virtual for the 194 member states. And we actually included in your read aheads a statement that IFMBE put uh, before the uh, WHO World Health Assembly. And you can see that it asked for uh, more clinical engineers around the world. So. Uh, we've been made big contributions in this important time. And I'll also alert you that we are going to have a, a, a wrap up um, town hall this Friday. Uh, each of the five topics that we've covered, we've been sending out somewhat piecemeal. We've been posting a bit some of the answers to questions, but we're going to put summaries together and try to answer as many questions in the hour town hall this same time on Friday, May 22nd this week. Uh, that said, I'm gonna turn it over to our co-chairs. Uh, Dr. Basakalif has been teaching clinical engineering around the world uh, in South Africa and now in Canada. And uh, clinical engineer uh, Jennifer Jackson, uh, an outstanding US-based clinical engineer now working for Massimo. Basit. Thank you, Tom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. And welcome to this uh, fifth in the series. It's a great pleasure to be here today with you. And uh, words of thanks to WHO, represented by Adriana and Tom uh, from the International Federation of Medical and Biological Engineering, the Clinical Engineering Division. And uh, today, uh, our topic will be on ventilators. It's a hot topic. And together with my colleague, Jennifer, we will chair this webinar today. We have a number of speakers and uh, we will introduce them uh, later as you see them on the agenda. Um, before we... Uh, start with our uh, first uh, topic. I would like just to, to indicate to many of us that uh, ventilators um, are considered as a life supporting equipment and classified as a high risk device, which means that it's an equipment that requires um, frequent and periodic maintenance inspection and safety testing to avoid getting into um, any incidents and faulty functioning device. So please take note of that and prepare um, yourself if you're not ready to take care of your ventilators. Without uh, any delay, I would like to introduce our first speaker. Ale Beliza, uh, representing the WHO today and uh, from uh, Mehra, UK, um, regulator. Over to you, Ale. Uh, 